That is a really bad egg. Mm, it's very really like medicine-y. Like I'll eat it because it's chocolate. Do you know what it tastes like? But now like? that we compared it to that, it was what? It tastes like latex gloves. Yes! Right? You are right. Do you remember when we were in Paris and we got those, we went to that expensive croissant place and we dipped the croissants into our cappuccino? Oh yes! Actually, we didn't. We didn't have cappuccinos. We had chocolate. hot chocolate was that hot was chocolate. like premium hot chocolate. Yeah. Now imagine dipping a white hen's egg into your coffee. Uh, that's interesting. Well, I, I, I will try. I mean, I dip bread into coffee. What is that? A croissant is basically bread, is it not? Pastry. It's a pie. What is a croissant? <laughs> what is a croissant? Why do you? What do you mean you dip bread? Well, what is a croissant made of? Not bread. It's made out of puff pastry. Out of pie. Out of pie. Yes, yeah, so I dip, I dip my pie in my coffee. We are very distracted. Hello fam, hello and welcome back to the Better With Balance YouTube. Today is probably going to be the fa our favorite video ever. Ever? Yeah, right. like a few weeks ago we shot a mayonnaise taste test and today we are doing hen's eggs. Basically the white Easter eggs that you get. Mm. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different brands of eggs that we're going to be tasting today. So we are going to help you make the best egg choice. Mm -hmm. Nothing to do with calories, purely based on taste and the break. The break is important. Oh, what really? are we judging it off of? When I bite into an egg, it mustn't like, I mustn't be able to bite into it in a split second. It must like be I a bit of work. Oh really? That's what I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes sense. But the chocolate um, must be must be delicious. I'm going to ch judge it on the, 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 the crunchiness of the outside and the yeah. softness of the chocolate on the, of the, the richness of the chocolate. I think that's kind of what that's I'm That's exactly for. it. Yeah. So we have, I have literally, we're, we're going to be kind of blind tasting because we don't know what each of them are. We wrote it underneath our little blickies over here. But I mean, obviously we know that we have a beacon egg, which is, it's the star of the show in my personal opinion. Last year when it was Easter, I came down and decided that Beacon has the best crunch, Woolworths has the best chocolate. Okay. And then I wanted them to like get married and like, uh. <laughs> and have a love child that was perfect. Okay. And then we don't know if that ever became okay, but we thing. don't know what the other ones say. Maybe we find the one today that is actually yeah. the one. So we also for. have, we have Woolworths, Pick and Pay, Beacon, Checkers, I got Clicks, and then we got um, ba Babylonia. Ba Babylon Stuerden. <laughs> Babylon. <laughs> Babylon Stuerden. I think that's how you pronounce Babylon it. Stuerden. They sent us eggs from the Cape Town because they're supposed to be amazing. But that's, we will decide. That's exciting. Yeah. Okay. Okay, are we ready? Yes, let's go. Which one should we start with? So we're going right. to vote out of, give a rating out of five. Ready? Ready. Cheers. I don't know what the other taste like, but this one is a winner so far. It's by lacquer for me. Chocolate is nice and thick. Mm. I don't like this one. I don't like that their, their chocolate is inconsistent. How do you want to get it that perfect? What do no, you mean? they must. This okay. is their job. Okay. Their job is to get the perfect egg. Okay. <laughs> they need to, like you can see, Bicker is thicker on the one side and thinner on the other side. I don't like that the, the white like peels off of the, the chocolate. Oh, like this? Yeah, yeah. Can you see? That's not supposed to happen. Are you sure? I decided. Okay. It's my rating. I do like the taste of this one. And it's quite a heavy egg, which I like. But okay. Oh, but you don't like this peeling. No, I don't like that. Why is it peeling like that? Looks like paint coming off of a wall. <laughs> can I say three and a half? You can. It was really good, but it's my first one. I don't I have nothing to compare it to. Out of ten, that is our vote, our combined vote. That I'm going to change it to a four. 
So just make yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, white all over your mouth. <laughs> just make that a six. Six out of ten. And I like this one. I, I don't know what I didn't see any of. Okay, let's guess. Whose A it is that? I don't know. Yeah, oh, it's checkers. checkers. Okay. Well, well done, checkers, for me. Not so much for her. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man? Okay, next one. Cheers. That was a lot of work. This is very good chocolate. I don't know. It is. It's almost like a lint, like if I could picture a lint made an egg. In comparison to that, you can taste like the, the aftertaste of this chocolate is so good. It is. Oh, I like this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I want to change this one. No, you don't get it changed. No, but I didn't have anything to compare it to. If this is a four, then this will be a, a no. I'll make them both a four. They're each a four. You're giving that the same amount of points as that one. Yeah, well, this is why I wanted to change this one to three and a half and make that one four. Let's just say this one. So if you're giving that three and a half, and then it means that it's got five and a half. Okay. Is the total for egg one. Okay, we are changing. <laughs> egg one, five and a half. Because I just downgraded from a four to a, 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 five, a three and a half. And this is a four. Because there's something about this one that has me wanting to go back for a bit more. Okay. Okay. You gave it a four? Yeah. Um, yo, 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 yo. This is a four and a half A for me. Okay. You guess. Whose okay. A is that? That one. Uh, I don't know who I have. I just want you guys to know that we bought all these eggs and we started with six of each egg. We had exactly two of each egg left for this taste test. <laughs> so we have eaten all of the rest of these eggs. So mm. we know, like we've tasted but all I, of But I never know what you give me. Like when you bring me an egg, I just like, ah, oh, this is amazing. No, oh. we don't concentrate on mm. it, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll guess. So we have like, uh, what, p uh, pick and pay, clicks. Yes, pick and, pick and pay, clicks, checkers. I'll... Uh, I'll it was go a spa with. Brand, I think. No, there wasn't. No. I'll go with. Uh, I'll say this is Woolworths. That's my guess. This is definitely Woolworths. Oh, ha! It has well, some, something. Something about the taste of the chocolate that yes, said it's Woolworths. Yes, you cannot compare the chocolate. No, to but that. this was also good. Okay, but we are done. We are not living in the past. We're done with these ones. <laughs> Let's move okay. on. Okay. This one. Okay. I don't know whose A this is. I have no idea. Cheers. Mm. This one broke very easily. Mm. I don't like this one. Tastes like medicine. I'll go Tastes with clicks. <laughs> <laughs> really, I can't do that. <laughs> the crazy thing is that we ate the other four of that egg. But I mean, now that we have something to compare, yes. we're like, what is that? There's an aftertaste that I can't do. That is a really bad egg. Mm. It's very like medicine-y. Like I'll eat it because it's chocolate. Do you know what it tastes like? But now like? that we compared it to that one, what? It tastes like latex gloves. Yes! Right? You are right. You know if you're wearing like a surgical glove and you put it in your mouth? Yeah, or just the smell of it. That, that, that's the taste. Oh, it's got an aftertaste. That, was, that is so weird. That is so weird because we, we, we ate it and we didn't complain. But now we're comparing it to this, and now this is like, tastes like. I, I don't may know. have given those to your parents. It, ta the other it tastes day. like, um, I don't know, metal or something. Like, um, okay, I'm gonna bring another one. What's again? You have my vote on a one, too. Yeah. I don't know whose A this is. I also don't know. But let's guess clicks because it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe it's not. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll go, I'll go clicks. No way! <laughs> They put it in the dispensary too long. Yes. <laughs> it soaked up so all funny. the medicine tastes. Yeah. That is so funny. Mm. <laughs> okay. That was fun. Okay, let's go with this. I actually know where these are from, but we'll just judge them anyways. Obviously, they're the only ones that are colorful. Okay. I don't know, but let's go. <laughs> I but I want the blue this. one. This one is nut now. 
It's in my mouth. Okay. Mm. You know what I what I want to say. Mm. I don't know if there's actually a, a taste in the outside because no. the chocolate is where the taste is. But to me, in my mind, it feels like if this outside had a taste, that it's overpowering the chocolate. I don't know. I think it's just an okay egg. The, the chocolate isn't great. My mind isn't blown. Like, I'll give it a three out of five. It's just, it's just it's meh. A, meh. It's got an interesting outside. It's different than the others. Yeah, well, it's blue. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's different. I'll give it a, yeah, I'll give it a three. Okay, so mm. we have a six. Did you also give it a three? Yeah. Okay, six, that's good. So we can actually, we can organize our eggs, this row of eggs based on our preferences. That is our order so far. What, from what, what to what? Woolworths. Um, this is from Pick and Pay, I believe. Uh, the brand is called Kaylee's. I don't know, it must be like a, a private, whatever. Okay. Um, so yeah, they got six. What did you give this one? Because we changed it a million times. Is that the first one? Yeah, I think it's it, got it five and a half. It ended up five and a half, and a half yeah. Okay, so Woolworths, uh, Kaylee's, Checkers. Checkers. And then Clicks right at the back with zero <laughs> points. <laughs> so funny that we could guess that. Okay, let's go with these ones. Yeah. Ooh. These ones are a bit cracked. Mmm. Mmm. That's some sweet chocolate. The chocolate is good though. Mmm. Mmm. I can open that. Yeah. I can hear your crunch. Mmm. It does break very easily though. Mm. This chocolate for me is better than Willie's. I see how Willie's. This is really good. I said most the richness of the chocolate and mm. this one is winning by far for me. Four and a half, four point eight if I can. Mm. 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 Five five for me. Oh yes, that's good. Mm. That is Babylon Stoden. Take that on it. <laughs> it is. Mm -hmm. It is. Did you I just, didn't know. You just decided because of the taste. Mm. <laughs> it's so good. I didn't know what to, like if I was going to be able to differentiate the good ones from the very, not very bad ones, but mediocre ones. But you can absolutely differentiate that these two and, are better. And you can almost see it. You can see how they break differently from all the others. <laughs> like all of these are kind of the same and this one is just like different. Yeah. It's beautiful. So the chocolate on both of these is very, very good. Mm. And Babylon Stoden also has a really good crunch. It does. Okay. okay. Sure. Like soup. We are going to have a sugar rush. Okay. Sierach. I don't know what we have left. <sighs> Cheers. This one's good. To me, it's like this one. It's like, you know, it's good. Mm. The chocolate isn't too great for me. I like the chocolate. I actually love this one. I I'm love, gonna give it a three. I love this one. Oh, but I wanted us to have an eight, so then I have to give it a five. I'm giving it a four. A four? Mm, this one's really good. So this one has a seven. A seven? Oh, yeah. yes, it does. Yeah. A seven. So, so where does that go? I think it will be. Willie's got an eight. Was it an eight? Yeah, so it had to be, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Okay. C can I just tell you, Finna, mm. this chocolate has a, I know you said you're not too fond about the chocolate, but the, the chocolate has to me a little bit of a darker chocolate taste to it. But it's not dark chocolate, but it's got yeah. a darker taste, and I like that. I so think it's it doesn't for my, taste like... For my palate. Uh, the thing is, when I eat the egg, and you can taste it with these two, that the chocolate 
leaves a chocolate taste in your mouth once you've swallowed it. Last one. Mm. This one also breaks like the knife one. So, this is like one of the best crunches for me. Mm. Like, look how well it held. <laughs> yeah, look how... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Maybe I just bit it on. Good. It's crunchy, sweet. like, I'm just like crunching it for days. This one is very sweet for me. Bio sweet. And I like that this one is bio fruit. It's the fruitest out of all of these. It is fruit. I like... Look how well it holds. Look at mine. Mine had a crack in, that's why. Oh. Mm, I like this one. I love the, the crunch. And um, just holds more, but the chocolate is dead average. Mm. You're right about the chocolate. I can't even... If this was a mine. 4 for me, this is a, a 3.5. But I do like... I do like that it's a groot eier, so maybe it can have a 3.8. Crunch is amazing, but the chocolate is... No, the chocolate's not bad. No, but it's just oh, like... Average. It's, it's like, okay. Good, yeah. It's like somewhere over here. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to give it a four, maybe. No, it's three and a half. Mm, I give it a 3.8. No, uh, then I have to do maths. Like, okay. what, what is that? Okay, I'll, I'll go with a, a, a three and a half. Seven. A seven. This one, what did you, what was your guess on that one? Oh, who it was? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I know the one that was left was uh, a beacon. And yes. I think it might be the big one. Yeah, that's beacon. Okay, is that beacon? You sure? This must be this beacon. pick and pay. No. Pick mm -hmm. and pay. Well done, pick and pay. I really like the pick and pay ones. Mm. Um, this is checkers and checkers got voted quite Badly. I think mm. I took their vote down by a Yeah, but it was our first egg, right? Yes, but it was the one where the Take white was peeling now. off of the air. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Look, why uh, is the white stuff not on the It's egg? like, the, because these eggs were boiled. It's boiled eggs. It <laughs> looks like... <laughs> okay. I, I, think, I feel like these ones are like... They're like the... You know, they the mm. normal, I don't want to use the word average, but... Mm. These are the excellent eggs. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that is our egg tasting for you. Was it worth it to eat to a buy eggs? I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you a bit later. <laughs> You're <laughs> what, jumping around what? in your study. <laughs> no, it was lacquer, but I really like this one. I think that Babylon Sweden overall has a good crunch and a good me, chocolate. Mm. You told me, oh, the crunch. And I told you with this one that I can hear the crunchiness in yeah. you when you're chewing it. I mean, if you don't want to fly to Cape Town or import your eggs from Cape Town, <laughs> then you just go to Woolworths. Mm. But oh. I think they may maybe have like a store or something in Joburg. I'm not too sure. Okay. No, but, but it's yeah. lacquer. No, now we know. I want you guys to have the best Easter taste egg, tasted egg possible. Mm. Moi. Moi. Thank you. Happy, happy. Happy Easter. Easter. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you at the next video.